Well, about eight months ago, Herb Buchanan Jr. took the helm as president of both IU Health Methodist Hospital and IU Health University Hospital. I'm pleased to welcome him to the show now to talk about the changing uh, landscape in healthcare and also to preview a huge event that supports the hospital statewide trauma programs. And uh, Herb, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. Uh, I should mention you came to Indianapolis uh, from uh, Washington, D.C. You were CEO of Howard University Hospital. Um, so welcome, number one. Thank you. But, uh, what attracted you to this job? A very high profile, important job, obviously, sure, here. Sure. What, what really attracted you? A number of opportunities attracted me. I'll start with smaller and go to the larger. The Academic Center, uh, we like to refer to it as the AHC, the Academic mm -hmm. Health Center. We have an opportunity with Methodist Hospital, which has traditionally been one of the largest private hospitals in the country, and an Academic Center University Hospital to bring those things together and create what we're calling the Academic Health Center of the future. So that's one thing. But IU Health, more broadly, is in a position to be one of the leading healthcare systems in the country, not only for academic medicine, but for community involvement, for public health, for population health. All of those things you're talking about in the transition of healthcare. IU Health has the resources, they've got the leadership team, they've got the mm -hmm. relationship with the medical school to boldly go down that trail and to do some trend setting. Yeah. So talk, talk about it. We were talking off camera, and you're of the opinion, as you just mentioned there, that IU Health is really positioned as a system right. uh, to, be, to be nationally relevant among the elite systems in the country. Mm -hmm. yeah. So IU Health has got uh, downtown, we've mm -hmm. got the academic presence, but then we've got a number of facilities throughout the country. So we have that combination of academic medicine, which is leading edge research and education, but also the reach to do population health. Yeah. And in combination with the medical school, not only is there discovery in medicine and, and, and cures, but there's also prevention, there are breakthroughs in how we reach out to the community, mm -hmm. there are ways of supporting community the way standalone hospitals and other systems might not be able to do. Interesting. So that, that whole community connection community uh, is, very is important an important part of, the, part of the model. Mm -hmm. uh, an event, as I mentioned, in the introduction uh, coming up in May, May 2nd. Uh, it's called REV. Right. It's at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway and it benefits your statewide trauma programs, mm -hmm. uh, correct? Talk about this event and, and really uh, the one of the interesting elements uh, among many is that long time standing relationship between the hospital system and the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. It's very important. A long time, everybody knows the, the, the speedway and everybody yeah. knows the tradition there. Long term relationship and that's an, another exhibi exhibit of mm -hmm. our connection to the community. The support, of course, for the statewide trauma and for emergency medicine, and we provide the emergency services for the race, is very important to us. Yeah. Uh, whether it's lifeline or whether it's planning mm -hmm. for, for coverage of the state, uh, REV has generated a lot of support. As you mentioned, over 1,500 yeah. people. Yeah. That relationship not only gives us visibility, mm -hmm. but reinforces that connection to the community and makes sure that our trauma services are available statewide. All right. Well, the event is May 2nd at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. And Herb, you weren't here last year, so you didn't so this will be go, my first right? REV. Well, I will right. tell you, it was an unbelievable event. 1,500 plus people last year. This year, uh, probably be up over 2,300. I think they do have a few more tickets remaining, mm -hmm. but it's an incredible event uh, for uh, a great uh, a great cause as well. And thank you, uh, Herb, for coming on to the show, and welcome to Indiana. Thank you for having me. All right. And coming up, how a manufacturer in Brownsburg could play a major role in the fight against Ebola. And college basketball's biggest weekend is about more than hoops. It's also about business. Next in our Eye on Education segment, how one of the nation's premier business schools is teaching students the art of the slam dunk. Stay with us. Inside Indiana Business Set Design by the Exhibit House. It's who we are. Set and green room furniture provided by Business Furniture and Choreo Group. Your source.